back again with another one. Today we're gonna do the boost gauge. For that, I just watched a bunch of videos so I have a general idea of how we're gonna do it. And then my dad's an electrician, so I'll have him wired up. Basically, what we're gonna do is uh, disconnect the battery first, take the cover off. There's a thing where you run the uh, T to, and then you'll run your vinyl hosing through this grommet back here in the very back. I don't know if you can see it. It's a little grommet. It'll run through. Come out somewhere back here, and then we'll run it up through the steering column. Have the hose come up here, run the wiring through the side here. So basically we gotta remove all this, remove this piece, and then pretty much just run all the hose. I don't know how well this is gonna go. As you can see, most of my videos doesn't go the best. So we'll give it our best try and try and make like a decent how-to. I don't know if you guys would wanna follow this one for a how-to, but watch me struggle. We'll try and figure it out and pop it in there. All right, so we disconnected the battery. Um, this kick panel, you got three screws on the bottom, so I went ahead and took those out. And then the cover for the fuse panel, um, it just has three clips. So I took a flathead, just kind of pried it in there and eventually it popped off. And then I saw on a video, this should pretty much, I'll end up breaking it, watch, but it should just pop right out. bunch of pieces just broke probably from clips but that pops right out so you pop that out and then this piece up here this just pulls back what we're gonna need to do is trim a little plastic piece that seals it just so that when you put the pot on top there's a place for the wires and the hose to go through well first thing i'm gonna take this off and trim it and then i'll go grab the gauge and everything get it mocked up and then try and find this rubber grommet in the firewall and get it ran through there and then we'll pretty much just go from from there all right so i'm not even sure how i'm gonna chop this up just because i'm kind of doing stuff as i go and forgetting to record it um but we got the fuse panel off, kick panel off. I took that grommet out of the back of the firewall and you can kind of see where the hole's at now, which will snake the final hose through and then have it come up to the steering column. I still have to trim that piece that goes on the top of the column. God bless you, mom, if you're watching this. Shout out you, mom, for sneezing, but basically, I don't know if you need to remove another panel off the bottom of the kick panel. I'm not going to, I'm just gonna have Allie try and fish the line through until I can see it and then run it up. Hopefully it works. I don't feel like removing more just because every time I loosen a screw on the bottom of that kick panel, the plastic broke, which is, I did the center console, the uh, clips broke on all of those when I was redoing the bushings um, So as much plastic as I can leave alone I'm going to just because I don't feel like having to buy new plastics and then those be brittle and then break and then have to buy new ones So we'll get this ran through get it snaked up to where it needs to be and then I'll work on trimming that Plastic piece where we'll run this through and check back in once we get that done Shout out my mom 
All right, so ran the hose through the firewall. Worst experience ever. I, I never have fun doing any of this stuff. I don't know why I do it, to be quite honest with you. It's just no, nothing's ever fun with it. So got it through, had to stick my hand way up into the console try and figure out a way that it's not going to mess up any of the pedals it might not mess up any of the pedals regardless of how you do it i didn't want to take that chance so i ran it up got it to like the bottom of the steering column fished it around have it coming up by the pole that comes off the steering wheel whatever that's called so then i trimmed that piece like i said the little cover piece you can just peel the adhesive off kind of Peel the adhesive so that you can fit a pair of dikes through and then just snip it and that'll allow for the um how's this even yeah, so that'll allow for i don't know how this shit works i think like that maybe but it'll allow for the hose to go right under there sorry i'm not showing any of it it's just this is a pain in the ass so our next step's gonna be i'll put the pod in the or i'll put the gauge in the pod We'll get that kind of mocked up, run the wires down, and then whenever my dad gets home, I'll have him take a look and see what the best route would be for the wiring. And then we'll kind of just button everything back up and it should be good to go. Hopefully it works. If not, don't care, I'm leaving it like that. So we'll set the thing in there, the cluster or the uh, gauge, and then Check back in once my dad gets home to do his electrical work. Two, two or three weeks later now, my dad came back. I wasn't going to film him. He's old and probably would have yelled at me. But basically, you wire the hot wire into the dimmer switch over here. And then there's a fuse. There's a fuse down under here, and you just bolt a little ring around one of the negatives down there. At first, it wasn't working, but it was because we chose the wrong uh, the wrong fuse. My bad, I watched a video and thought I was looking at the right one. But it just didn't light up. Um, it lights up now, you can't really tell, but let me see. You can see it's the blue, it works. I ordered it in bars instead of PSI on accident. Black Forest Industries, it says TDI for the PSI one. People like me were too dumb to know that it doesn't matter. But um, the next video I'm gonna post is gonna be for the door handles. I'm gonna have to do the same thing just cause I didn't end it. Something happened with the back left door. So I'll just explain everything, show you guys the door handles at the end, but um, that's the end of it. If you wanna like the video, comment for Allie to buy me something for the car and subscribe, It'd be huge. And we'll see you on whenever I post the next video.